Today I'm going to be tying a caddis pupa pattern. I'm using a curve shank hook. This is the Jaiichi 1716 size 12 and I got a little 3.2 millimeter tungsten copper bead on there. I like using brown thread for this pattern especially for the uh, August and kind of fall caddis. I'm just going to bring my thread halfway and tie in the rib which is some pearl crystal flash. For the body it's going to be a dubbed body and this is some SLF dubbing, don't know the exact color name, but it's kind of amber brown color and uh, it's got some nice spiky fibers and some flash in there. So anything that kind of looks like that. And with Caddis you want to build a reverse taper because that's what they look like when they're in the pupa stage. They kind of have a more thick, thicker body towards the back of them. As you can see, it's pretty thick back there. I didn't really taper it down. But you'll see as I go towards the front, it'll be a little bit thinner. Like that. All right, then I'm gonna rib the body. And I'm going to tie in the, I guess you would call it a wing case. Caddis aren't known to have a wing case, but it looks like on the, looking at photos of the bug and seeing them in real life, they kind of have a um, little wing case in the pupa stage. And to replicate that, I'm just going to use some turkey tail. You could definitely use pheasant tail though. I just like this stuff because it's a little bit thicker. And they're, it's really small on the uh, caddis. It's like that big. And I'm going to tie now the wing buds and little legs in. For the wing buds, um, you could use like some Zelon or Sparkle Emerger fibers in like white. But I have been using this um, Midge diamond braid in the color uh, purple, I mean <laughs> pearl, and um, but yeah, you can use uh, just some white Zelon or um, sparkle merger fibers. And they're just going to be short little pieces coming off. Like so. And for the legs and just anything else kind of hanging off, because Caddis pupa have the just, they look like stringy stuff when you uh, find them in the water. So maybe using some partridge for that. You could probably just use hen. I just like the color of the partridge for this. And I'm going to tie it in kind of like a uh, copper john so you cut out that little notch. It's going to look like that. Last part is the thorax and for the thorax, I'm just going to use some peacock curl. Alright, and then just pull that wing case over. Tie that off.
Do a little whip finish. And you're pretty much set. If there's any big fibers that are sticking out, cut them, but definitely leave it, leave it a little bit spiky. And that's the caddis pupa. I'm gonna try and hold it in front of the camera if it'll focus. So you can see how it looks like from the top. And it's just a nice straggly little pattern it's been nailing the uh, steelhead in the Central Valley recently. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.